This morning, Governor Ron DeSantis is suspected of sending another plane of migrants to a sanctuary city. Kaplan's Kenya Cardone has more from the control center. Challenges at the border continue, and you may recall last year when DeSantis flew migrants to Martha's Vineyard without notice. Just a few days ago, a plane of migrants landed in Sacramento, and the California governor suspects it to be another DeSantis operation. Nearly three dozen migrants have arrived in Sacramento since Friday. The first group arrived by private jet from Venezuela and Colombia, according to a nonprofit group. They're human beings. They're people with families. Um, there's some young people, you know, that are just trying to support or make a life for themselves. There's people who left their children behind. The second group carrying 20 migrants came Monday on this private plane from Texas, which California officials believe was sent by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. His willingness to treat human beings, people, as political pawns. It's wrong, and we are getting to the bottom of it. DeSantis, who recently announced he's running for president in 2024, says he's been cracking down on illegal immigration in his state. We have banned sanctuary cities. We're cracking down on human smuggling. We've sent National Guard to the border to help with what's going on down there, and we even sent illegal aliens to beautiful Martha's Vineyard. California Governor Gavin Newsom tweeted Monday calling DeSantis a, quote, small, pathetic man for his alleged role in sending migrants to the Golden State. Meanwhile, local and state officials say they'll be providing assistance. The people who are scared, who are vulnerable, who are flown here, they will be well cared for. Newsom says the details about who paid to fly the migrants to California and if they were misled with false promises will be investigated. In the Control Center, I'm Kenya Cardone, Kaplan News.